Hi, in this video, we will learn a bit more about modifiers in Blender and actually make a little scene out of it. So, let's start with a basic cube. Modifiers help to make your 3D modeling a lot easier. It helps speed up your workflow by doing 3D modeling operations which could be repetitive and boring as a 3D modeler. So, let's have a look at a simple example of modeling a simple brick wall. I think that'll be easy to start off with. So. Um, I can start off with a little cube and let's create a little brick wall. So I'm going to go to the front view by pressing numpad 1 and then change to the um, orthogonal view by pressing 5 since I can see more accurate dimensions in this uh, view. Shift uh, scroll up just to move the viewport up a little bit or viewport down a little bit sorry. And let's sort of model a brick. So I'm just simply going to model this in the object mode so it'll just be very basic but I will go into the edit mode. Actually, let's do that. Let's go into the edit mode. So let's go into the edit mode now by pressing tab. And then I'm going to go ahead and select all the bottom vertices. Now, if I sort of uh, middle mouse drag, I can see that I didn't really select all the bottom vertices. It only selected the first two and it missed out the last two. We can sort of enable this sort of ghost effect where if I box select, then all vertices behind it get selected as well. And to do that, you just click this, this limit selection to visible. Uh, toggle and now you can sort of see a ghost uh, vertice which is the vertice at the back and now when I press box select I can select all the bottom vertices pretty quickly okay let's go grab Z and I can just press the control key and by pressing control I can uh, fine grain control the dimensions a little bit and I'll just create a quick brick shape let's go to the right view by pressing 3 B drag B left click drag and then um, grab Y, let's move it to about there, grab uh, box select again, uh, let's select this and move it uh, by pressing control, there sort of looks like a brick, alright so we have our little brick, okay, let's now make our brick a little bit smooth, uh, like not, not like a, a realistic brick, sort of like a cartoony brick. So now we get to work with the modifiers. So I'm just going to go to the modifiers panel now and click that. Add modifier. I want to add a subdivision service. Remember, this smooths everything out by subdividing your cube into more vertices and then smoothing it out. So obviously now it just looks plain odd. It just doesn't look right. I'm going to press smooth shading just so that we don't see those sharp edges. Um, and that doesn't look right for a brick. So I'm now going to go to the front view again and in edit mode I'm simply going to add two loop cuts just like that. The main reason is that we don't have enough vertices to define the detail of our brick so it sort of creates an oval because it doesn't have enough vertices to work with. So, so it, needs, it just needs more detail. So grab grab and let's move it down. Alt right click this loop, grab grab and let's move it up. Now I'm going to do it to the sides as well. Control R, scroll up to create two loop cuts. Alt right click, grab grab and move to the side. Alt right click, grab grab and move to the side. So we can see we have a sort of uh, smooth looking brick now. Maybe I want to move it, I'm going to make it more smoother by just moving it down a bit more. Moving this up a bit more. Moving this uh, in a bit. This one as well. And there we go, we have a very smooth looking brick. If I up the subdivision, it looks even smoother. So that's a pretty good basic cartoony brick. So that's good enough for our case. Now let's add another modifier to create our brick wall. So to do that, I'm gonna add the array modifier. As you can see, we have two bricks. So we are duplicating our brick without having to do it in the edit mode, which saves a lot of time. So now I'm just gonna you know, up the count to, to to about the length of our brick wall. So 15 bricks should be right, I guess. Or maybe 16. All right. Um, this is the X, Y, and Z offset. So that basically means the distance between um, the duplicate. So if I put 1.1, it creates a 0.1 distance between the, the original 
object and the duplicate. So by keeping it at just one, it shifts it exactly one place from the original object, if that makes sense. So by putting values in that point, we sort of create that little uh, distance between the duplicate. So maybe I'll put, add a little one just to be realistic. And now let's create the height of our brick wall. So let's add another array modifier, but this time I don't want to create like, you know, 16 plus 16. I don't want to create, oh sorry, it's two. So I press one. Um, I don't, by pressing two, it sort of doubles the original um, length of the wall. So now I have 32 bricks, but I don't want to do that. So I want to move to zero so that it sort of falls in on itself. I want to change the Z to one so that it, you know, goes upwards. Um, now, when I increase the count, I basically create the height of my brick wall. And uh, yeah, that brick wall doesn't look right. It doesn't look like a proper brick wall. So I'm just going to offset it on the X axis just by a little bit. Oops, that's a lot. Uh, about 0 0.05. Point zero two. Mm, point, I say 0 0.025. So there you go. We have our little brick wall. I, I know it doesn't look right, but it's at this stage where I apply the modifiers. So let's uh, apply, apply a modifier. So now it becomes part of a mesh. And then we can obviously go ahead and cut away at our object. In edit mode, by the way, you can select entire objects by hovering over the object. I'm pressing L, 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 L. Or a quicker way is you can select multiple vertices at once. So I'm going to circle select for this one. So just select any random vertices there and just press, uh, right click that, press Control L. So these will select entire objects. Now I can press delete vertices and just select those stray ones there. Delete, uh, delete vertices. And you can see our wall sort of coming into shape. So I'm just going to go ahead and just put a line there. Control L, delete vertices. And there we have our little brick wall. So you can see using modifiers, we can very, very quickly create um, 3D models without actually affecting our original 3D model. By the way, just have to note that modifiers are non-destructive. So when I turn off this subsurf modifier, you can see the original 3D object as is without any subsurface. But when I, when I turn it on again, you can see that the subsurface is applied. Uh, same with the array modifier. If I didn't apply the modifier and then I switched it off, it would have uh, looked like a proper modifier. So let me just go back and do that again. So in this case, oops. So let me just go back and do that again. Um, see, we have all our modifiers here. If I turn, oh, I'm just going to switch off the visibility of it by clicking that eye and that eye, you can see the original brick is still there. I'll just turn off the subsurface as well. And our originally model brick is still there. So modifiers are non-destructive. You can always come back to your original model if you're not happy with it. So modifiers make life a whole lot easier for the 3D modeler and you can always experiment with it. After you apply your modifier, that's when it starts to become destructive. You've made that change life. I hope this video has been useful to you and that you can see the power of Blender's modifiers. Keep playing around with these modifiers, uh, keep blending and I hope to see you in the next video.